starting to look like a construction site around here, and I've done quite a bit. I've extended the garden out quite a bit along the perimeter here. That used to be the walkway. Now it's going to be part of the garden. I've taken down the stone wall, and I'll be using the stones somewhere else. I dug up all those watermelon plants that the birds had devastated, and I moved them to another section. Uh, the fence post, they're just leaning up against some rocks, so they're really not, they're not in the ground or anything right now. They have to still be painted, <clears throat> and so they're just there so that I can sort of see what I have to work with here. I've decided to put my entry gate right here, wide enough to bring a um, wheelbarrow in, and then I have a nice walkway I'm working on. This used to be right along the walkway on the outside and now as you can see it's going to be enclosed. I'll turn this entire thing into a garden bed. It's got two dwarf peach trees and I'm going to put the strawberries back into the ground out of the trough and I will be able to protect them from the marauders, I hope. <laughs> They've been in a trough but uh, it just doesn't retain water and so they're not doing well. You know, this is something you just learn in gardening. You just learn from year to year to do things differently, and eventually you might get it right. Um, I've already removed what used to be right here. I think you, if you've watched any of the potager videos, you know that that used to have a baker's rack there with clay pots and succulents on it. Well, the succulents are just sitting here waiting for somewhere else to go, and I'm going to move the bee house. I just have to unscrew it from that beam. These are the watermelons that are doing really great. And in about a week I'll be able to take all those barricades off and let them spread out to the rest of this bed. So, I'm actually grateful to the peacocks for having caused me to do this renovation. I never expected to do it. My goodness, I had just renovated this garden at the beginning of the year, and here we go again. Oh well, I think it's going to be pretty nice. Well, you may remember in the uh, s series I did on the potager and starting a pot potager from scratch that I mentioned that when you plan your potager, put it in an area where you can expand if you have to. Little did I know at the time that I would be expanding this one within a matter of months. But what I've done here is this was the original walkway right outside the potager and now it's going to become part of the potager. The fence will go along this brick line and I've moved the sidewalk over here. So the sidewalk will go around the outside of the picket fence. This may be another entryway because I need a couple entryways to get into this or it might just be a plant planting section. But I've given myself quite a bit more space in the potager and it's time now to dig the post holes, which is something my husband will do for me because I am not very good at that. So we have a pretty much of a construction site going on here. Everything looks pretty messy, but I am thinking that <laughs> it's going to look really nice by the end of the day. We just might get that fence up. Thank goodness for this paint sprayer. Uh, everybody's painted. I've got one more section, but I'm missing about three pickets and then three more are broken, so I might have to make my gate some in some other way. But, wow, these are going to be really nice. <laughs> oh, hello, Matilda. <laughs> ah, so near and yet so far away. We only had one more post hole to dig, and we hit the water pipe. So now we have to take some time to fix that. Oh well, that's life. Well, we thought we fixed it. Unfortunately, that's exactly where that post has to go, so we have to dig that up and fix it again. We really didn't have the right parts. Well, well, that shouldn't be too difficult. Anyway, so far, so good. I love it. I really do love it. And we have a lot of cleanup to do. 
but I just think I was right. It did totally change the look of this garden for the better. Oh, I guess just, just nothing like a picket, white picket fence, is there? It's so all-American. But it's also very cottagey and English. And I just, for the last time, my boys are going to be enjoying this for the very last time. You right, you little stinkers? Doesn't really matter right now, so I'm just letting them have their last hoorah. And there they have already eaten up all the last of the chard. And I said, okay, go for it, guys. Because you're not going to be getting any more. Nope, you sure not. So, live it up while you can. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm actually very grateful to you boys because if it hadn't been for you being so naughty, I would not have put this fence up. Now I just think it's great. Okay, so we'll be back when the gate's on. And this is all cleaned up. And I've redone the sidewalk again. So the outside sidewalk. This is my favorite little chicken, that scrawny little Peggy, and I am definitely going to leave a little doorway for her to come in because she doesn't do much damage in the garden and she likes to come and help me whenever I'm planting and digging. So Peggy is going to be the only privileged chicken who gets to come in this potage when it's finished. Hey, Peg. The gate will be here. It will be catty-cornered. And because I've run out of enough picket spindles, to finish the gate, I'm going to have to come up with a new idea to make a gate that goes along with this fence. And then there's going to be another little gate on that far end. So I'll have two entries. And then my challenge is to somehow block off the porch over there because they can just jump off the porch and right into this potager. But I have a plan for that as well. And it's going to be more like a trellis. So we'll see you in the final episode of Picket Fence for the Potager. This is Jerry from Hoplong Hollow. See you next time.